Hi, this is Dave with Barton Industries, and today we are going to be taking a look at our new pistol grip for the automatic transmissions. The way to tell if this is going to be able to fit on your vehicle or not is to simply take off your factory shift knob so we can take a look at the shaft that's running through here to make sure that that's the correct shaft for our pistol grip. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pop this bottom cap off and you can use a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to use this paint scraping tool. Put a flathead screwdriver or whatever you got works just fine. You just kind of want to prop it down and it'll just pop right off of there. And then you're going to want to take and just pull up on the shift knob and the shift knob is just going to pop right off. All right, hopefully this will show it a little bit better with the zoomed in view. You can see the flat here and you can see the flat on this side. And if the shaft is like this with the flats, it's going to fit on a lot of different Mopar vehicles. We know it'll fit the Charger, the Challenger, the Jeep, and there's quite a few other vehicles that um, it'll fit. Most of them are about 2005 to 14, um, like the Durango, the Nitro, and some other ones, the Grand Cherokee. These grips will work on as well, but again, just take off your factory grip and make sure that the shaft looks just like this one, and if it does, you should be good to go to use our pistol grip. Okay, now we're gonna take the Barton pistol grip here. What we're going to have is two set screws here and you're going to have one on the other side. And once we install this, this set screw and the one right behind it are going to clamp down on this flat spot and then this set screw is going to kind of wedge itself towards the back of the shaft just to make sure everything's nice and tight on there. So now we're going to just take it Put it right down on there and then we're going to take our allen wrench and we're going to start just by taking the one set screw just up till it touches you don't want to tighten it yet so it's just touch in there so it's touching there touch in there and you're just going to come back and snug them up Part of the grip is installed and now we're going to take the inlay put the inlay in the grip take the screws back it off snug it up once you have this inlay on, then on the other side of the grip, you're just going to take the other inlay and repeat the process of with the screws. Make sure everything's good and tight and you're good to go.